catching up. All right. Hey, everybody. My name is Chris. This is Just Keep Diving. Scuba Diving on a Budget, a channel where I help you save money. I do weekly reviews of scuba diving gear, tech, and dive operators. Now, hit the like, subscribe button, and let's go on to our today's review. You did hit the like and subscribe button, right? Good. Okay. Scoob Light. S-C-O-O-B-L-I-T-E. I will have the links to the product, Amazon, and to the product's website below. Because they have a lot of other different products besides what I'm reviewing. Too simple. Very easy to use light. We all know what this is. Chem stick. And keychain light. It would be really cool as a keychain light. Anyway. Chem stick. And simple to use. See the crystals? You do? Yes, good. All right. So the crystals actually glow in the dark. So you saw the sea crystals before? This is the crystals after. See how they're just starting to turn a little green? Good. That's simple. When I went scuba diving in the pool with it the other day, it actually floated up. I let it go. It floated up to the surface. So my assumption is there really wasn't that much description. I put it on a little uh, snap ring, put it on my tank, and it floats up. Self-explanatory. Number two, the pod light. The pod light is actually pretty cool. So has the same crystals. See, has the same crystals. It has a sensor right here. I believe that is for a nighttime sensing mode or maybe underwater sensor. I'm not sure exactly. I didn't, didn't read the directions. I'm a normal guy. Um, off, on. I believe that's the nighttime mode. And then that's on. Now, what's really cool is when you turn this on, and I think what it is is probably powering down because I haven't charged it since diving the other day. Um, I'm powering down. I'm not just leaving it on for a minute because when you turn it off, that's not reflection from the light. That is actually what it looks like. The crystals glow from that where I charged it. You see, that's the back side and that's the front. The reason why I haven't charged it since diving was I let it dry. This little connector port right here, I have yet to get it to close while diving. It, it's all nice and neat and it looks closed and it feels closed, but I just barely run my hand across it and it opens right up. So I made sure I did the bowl of rice trick, everything. I put it in and I'm going to go plug it in. It comes in with its own little cable, but I'm going to go plug it in and charge it and get it working up. The deal is, make sure that works but either which way it is actually a really cool light what can this little pod light be used for nighttime camera operation you're looking at me like what think about it you're diving along and you want to do black light pictures do you use a white light when you go black light pictures no do you have a light on while you're diving well, if you want your eyesight to be right, no, you don't. You have that black light on. You're going along, you're picking along. Well, this can clip right here. And you've already made it glow in the dark, clip right here, and, and I can identify you from the dive guide where you're at. Plus your little chem light in the back. But I also can identify where you're at. You can also clip it to your wrist, like a lanyard to your wrist, turn it on right quick, Turn it back off and then use the light. See what I'm saying? So there's different uses for it. It's actually pretty cool. So let's talk price because you know that is what we're here for, for budget. So for this one is about $17. 15, but it's reusable. That's the best part. Reusable. And you don't have to have electricity to charge it. The Scoob Light Orb. How much is it? I think this one runs about $37, depending on what website it is. Is it worth it? I'm going to hold off on that one. I'm going to say yes for right now. If I find out later, it really doesn't work that long. You know, like I said, we were in a pool. We turned the lights off in the pool, which is actually pretty cool. I said they can't believe she did that for me. Um, and I will get back to you on that one on, on the price of $37 that's worth this little keychain light. <laughs> it's called an orb is what it's called. 
Um, it's got a plastic housing that goes to get into a depth rating I am not going to get close to. Okay, guys, there you go. The orb and the chem stick. Again, hit the like and subscribe button. Just keep diving, guys. Scuba diving on a budget.